So here I am, logged in as a student, Robert Burns, and here you can see my course completion status. And as you can tell, not much joy so far. So let's go through and do some work. First thing to tackle is this assignment here, James Titler, Mystery Man. Let's go in, add my submission. Oops. Scroll down, save changes. You can't see that. And that's it posted. Well, time has passed very quickly, and the tutor has marked that assignment. I've logged on again, and as you can see, one of my activities is now complete. And I can log on as a student, so I can connect to the student, and there we see it. The tutor liked it and marked it as complete. Excellent. So, what else can I do as a, as a student towards my course completion? How about this one? I can self-complete. I can click on complete course. Confirm that. Yeah, I've now decided I've completed the course. And there it is. And the third one is a teacher. I can complete that. I'm going to show you that in a second. All right, I'm now logged on as the tutor. So what I can do now is I can check the course report and here you can see that Robert Burns has completed that activity, this activity, the self-completion one. Now all I have to do if I want to mark this course as complete is I can tick that box as tutor and that's it. Now his course is complete and it will take a few moments for this box to appear but now all three ticks are there. Uh, that's effectively it. So time passes and with a little bit of luck. Yep, because the student completed all these items the course is now classed as complete. So the next stage is to look behind the scenes to see how that was all set up. Uh, okay, Those three options there, you probably wouldn't use that combination to mark a course as complete, but it gives you an idea of the kind of things you can do to mark a course as complete. So see you in the next video.